Hi everyone, Arjunal Page, and I want to make a background with a prayer. I have a prayer, I have a craft foam mat. Uh, I found out that it's easier for me to work with a prayer on this kind of surface. And I've got all kinds of uh, I've got white, I've got some uh, light blue and grays and cobalt and some very dark um, blue, a uh, grayish blue and even got silver. I just picked some paints. I'm not sure if I will use them all. I just want to start by laying, before the prayer, I'm going to start by laying this uh, two colors so I will have coverage because I'm not interested in this um, particular <laughs> Um, showing through in this particular uh, color and it's this is just a sketch paper so I'm just going to put a little bit of a uh, white and some blue and smear it all and he doesn't want to go out okay here we go Just so I will have coverage. As you can see, I'm not gentle with it, just putting it down. Okay, and everything is covered. Next let's see so i'm just going to go about it from light to dark and now i'm taking from the same uh, light blue i'm not even uh, waiting for this to dry and i'm just going to start adding paint randomly Moving on, this grayish, I don't know, there is like a little bit blue in it. I'm letting all, all of it mix, as you can see. It creates more shades in between and it then it doesn't turn out too too harsh best explanation i can give now i'm going a little bit bolder with this color but again it's going to mix with what i've already got here and what all i already got here And if I don't like something, I can always go on top of it and cover. Let's see. I'm going to try for this uh, silver. Not sure uh, what will turn up uh, from it. It's a very cheap uh, paint. We are usually giving this a kind of paint to uh, children, but I'm working with what I have. So, got the silver. Of course, one of the downsides, downside. <laughs> of a uh, filming a video is that metallics and all kinds of shimmery thing can hardly be seen maybe if i will tilt the page you can see it okay so i still got here lots and lots of paint but i'm moving on and now i'm putting this a little bit of this color And 
and this uh, the darker colors I'm being very uh, careful with them I don't want them to overwhelm my page okay last color the darkest one and I'm this one we'll see how to go about it I am I wanted it to be bolder than the others but we'll see mixing I almost wanted to be to be like in contrast with the others so it would be bolder and not a uh, disappear into the background as the others I've got too much uh, paint here I think I'm going to take uh, my my notebook of excess paint and just use it all here this is a great source for painty papers and all kinds of collages using every bit of it yeah so once again i'm putting a, a little bit of the darker color and trying to make some areas that are darker I don't know, to make it more dramatic. <laughs> Best explanation I can give. Maybe a little bit on the edges. I'm taking now some brush. More of this color. And just adding a little bit and I still got lots and lots of wet paint so it all mixes I've picked a hard bristle brush so I will have more grungy a uh, look to the whole thing and just a little bit more I should probably uh, waited for all these layers to of paint to dry but I'm impatient okay I like it so let's see maybe just a little bit yeah now I am really needing to <laughs> let this dry. I'm moving it, this aside and let's use the rest here. Yeah, finished with this. So I want a watch on my focal point is going to be a watch. I have this stencil from Stamperia. 
and I wanted some uh, cogs or gears in the back and I don't have a die cut machine or and I don't even have a stencil for this kind of thing so I made my own to uh, use in the back uh, of my page and I will show you how I went about it. It's so simple. I took black and uh, this is black Bristol paper. I think it's 180 uh, grams for a sheet and then I took uh, this punch. This is a three inch uh, circle punch. Of course, if you don't have a circle punch, then you need to go about it <laughs> the old way and just <laughs> make a circle and cut it with, with scissors. So, then I had a circle, just folding it in half and then folding it into a, to a quarter, like so. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. Then I just made some uh, marks for the uh, tooth. I don't know if that's the correct word that I wanted to cut from it, like so. And then you decide which you are cutting, like so. Nail scissors, they are uh, thinner, they, are, they have a curve, it's easier to cut things like that. And then just go about cutting it like so. Now, if I wanted a complete circle uh, here in the middle, then I would just go about like this and cut this whole thing if I wanted something more like this then I will just cut something like that out these two uh, triangles will give me uh, this now I'm just going to go and cut like this and here we go another one made very simple so and I uh, did some a uh, three inch and I had another a uh, punch I think this one is a two inch and that's what me ma I made for the gears so I have the gears that I want to use in the back and I want this a uh, clock but I don't want to stencil it uh, directly to my background. I want it to have <clears throat> another background. Sorry. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take some... This, this time I'm going to take white Bristol paper. And I want it to have like a white shimmery... Uh, background so let's see i hope i still have it another a uh, case of cheap paint that usually is given to <laughs> children but i have here white metallic paint and that's what i'm going to use and i'm thinking that maybe i will add a little bit of a uh, silver again but right now i just want to cover the page with this I want this to be the background for the watch clock whatever let's see if it's enough uh, this stencil is by Stamperia Okay, 
let's take just eh, this is dry completely so where did I put the other silver that I had okay mixing it don't care very much where it goes I'm just mixing it I don't want complete white I didn't want complete a, a I don't know what to call it ivory this white shimmery a metallic paint so here goes okay I've got this now for let's give it a bit of um, blast from the heat tool and now I have this okay and I need some let's see I can move this so I don't need the brayer anymore now I'm debating if I want to stencil it with black or with the very dark uh, blue I've used I let's go with the black so it, there will be a little bit more distinction between the background and my focal image and somehow I've managed to put paint on my hand it's a talent I'm telling you if I can smear something okay so makeup sponge and let's do this I'm taking it I'm a uh, dabbing so I won't have too much excess and gently going about stenciling like so so nothing to see here very boring process of just stenciling so I'm going to switch off and I'll be back when this is dry and I will fussy cut it and then we'll get back to the background okay so I've got my clock here and I am want to uh, put it something like this here and I was about to go and start placing the the gears in the back but then they look kind of beautiful and uh, flat so uh, what I uh, decided to do I'll show you uh, I already done the rest I took again the makeup sponge with the black and just went over them because they look kind of very dark gray and not black so very gently I went over them with the black that's the first step and so they won't look completely flat I've used this a uh, hard bristle brush with a uh, silver and then went up to the edges like so to give some metallic shimmer to them like so and I'm not being precise I can also go like this and just adding some highlights and metallic uh, shimmer so now I've got all these gears that I need to start playing with <laughs> that's the best part playing with the placement I'll probably won't use all of them let's see I 
I want different uh, looks of gears in the back so I'm trying to just alternate between them let's see yeah I think something like that maybe just one more picking picking out like this and then my clock will go like that yeah so this is the placement I am now going to glue everything down just by using a glue stick uh, it's thin paper it can so it doesn't need anything stronger stronger than a glue stick I'll be back I'm back everything is glued in place I've uh, cut the the whatever I had outside the edges I also uh, done it here and now I'm just taking again the makeup sponge and the black and just going over the edges just to keep everything framed and it also gives more a uh, uh, depth to your uh, project that's what I think when you are uh, making your edges darker like so and now I've got these stamps I've picked time I'm gonna uh, try and stamp it here I don't know how uh, it will take because of this metallic paint and I, I'm using Momento Tuxedo Black I'm not trying for a straight line, so just and where is here is the E? Yeah. And now what I'm thinking is that I want it also in the background. I'm going to attach these four letters. I'm going to try at least with masking tape. So I can just stamp them together. And now I'm just going to stamp it randomly. Whatever shows, shows. It's just another a thing in the background. Little details. Sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, very simple page. I think this is it for <laughs> today. As I said, simple, quick, at least I think so. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.